Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a young lady emailed me today wanting to make some earrings and other items and using this angel wings as an earring. And this will be pretty cool. And if you're watching this, uh, particularly yourself, you might want to clean this up a little bit. Uh, you sent me a just a JPEG picture and I traced it, but I didn't spend a lot of time because that's not what the video is about. So to get this effect, and this is a not an easy one. So there's a little bit different steps and to get this to work. So go to effects contour and we're going to contour 0.15 to the outside. It's going to turn it all black. Go up to a range and break contour apart. Our nudge distance is set on two inches. Let's nudge that out of the way. Go up here and left click with no fill, right click hairline. Move it back and just see what it kind of looks like. It's a little bit much. So if you want to do it, maybe, well, let's just do it backward. Let's just go back. Doesn't take just a second. Let's go just point one. Hit apply. Still turns it black. Go to range, break contour apart. Grab it and move it over. Then left click, right click, and then kind of look at that. That looks pretty good. Now, let's move that out of the way. Let's control D and make a duplicate of that. Control and move this handle and it's gonna mirror it. Grab you something like a circle to make your part for your hole to go through. Select both these and weld it. Now there's two ways you can look at it. You can leave this inside cut out and it would look pretty cool. Then you just move that over. That wouldn't be a bad look. You would need to clean this up down here where the double lines are. But my suggestion to make the earrings a little bit stronger would be to take your virtual segment delete key and delete the center part. Now, before you do anything else, let's move this wing back. I'm a firm believer that this is in two different parts and could be or not, I still would take the smart fill tool and fill it in, move it down, left click, right click. Let's just move this one out of the way. That particular one worked, but a lot of times it doesn't. Move this wing to the, I actually think I moved it accidentally. When I clicked there, I did. Just move it to there. Now the second wing, you're because you're working with two different things that are further apart, you're going to have to go Control D, mirror it, and then just grab it and manually move it over there about where you think it should be. That's pretty close. You can always use your nudge distance and set it on a point zero zero one, and just kind of eyeball. I'm grabbing the wrong thing. Just eyeball and just nudge it up or down. Then just take you a little bitty hole for your ear ring deal to go through. Keep in mind that this needs to be relatively thick so it won't break. And that's all you need to do. This is a tricky one because it's two pieces and they're not, it's hard to put a board around it and contour. But if you do it that way, I think you'll be happy. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.